Hey guys, so I'm doing a quick unboxing video today. Um, I did get about $161 of stuff from naturesgarden.com. They're going to be used for my body butters, they're going to be used for my body scrubs, as well as my glosses. Um, I usually put music on in my videos, but I will be talking throughout this whole video, so I do want to warn you, if you don't want to hear me talk, put me on mute and put some music on the background. I just want to go over why I've been gone, a couple struggles as a business owner right now, and just the overall climate of the world today. Um, before I get started, I do want to show you guys a couple of my glosses. They, all my glosses will have um, crystals in them to help with their, like the properties that they bring. So look how clear they are. I, do, I will have colors and I will have glitter glosses, but these are going to be three of my main glosses because of the properties each crystal provides. I have a gloss that has rose quartz and rose petals in it. This helps bring in love, self-love, just love in general. I have a clear gloss with gold flakes and citrine, which helps bring in prosperity, wealth, and abundance. And I also have a clear gloss that has silver flakes and rainbow quartz, which just is an overall aura booster. So yeah, these are some of the glosses that I will be carrying. And like I said, they're so clear. When I get my actual packaging, I will be doing my gloss video and I will show you guys tips and tricks on how to make your glosses really clear and long lasting. I may not give my exact recipe, but I will be trying to help you guys out. Um, so yeah, let's get into the unboxing. As you can see, I'm trying to hide my address. Um, I did get a lot of stuff and it was $161.27. So let's go ahead and open this. Again, I think I mentioned this, but someone's gonna ask me so. This is from naturesgarden.com. So the first thing I have is steric acid, which is very important when you do like um, exfoliating or nourishing body scrubs. So I did get this to help stabilize my my blends, as well as Optifin, which is a preservative. I will be having preservatives in like my some of my body scrubs as they do go in your bathroom and you will dip your hands in and out and it's just near water and I'm just not comfortable having um, no preservative and having your stuff get moldy. I tried to keep my ingredients as clean as possible, but I, I did do my research and I felt that that was necessary. Now I also have tops. I think these are gonna go to eight ounce jars if I'm not mistaken. Um, I will be putting my body scrub and body butters yeah, in these eight ounce jars. Um, let me see if I can go over the pricing of things really quick. So let me while I start, my steric acid was this is one pound and it was three dollars and fifty cents. Um, the Optifin was I have two one ounce bottles and they're four dollars per bottle. Um, the tops. The white, there's a 10 pack of legs. I got two 10 packs and they were $2.50 each, so $5 for 20 of them. As well as the eight ounce jars, I got two 10 packs of those. They were $6 per 10 pack and I got two, so I spent $12 on that. So here are the jars together. I just wanted a very small launch. I'm actually going to be launching on the 26th. Um, very small and that that might actually get delayed a little bit just due to the issues i'm having with the virus and the political climate today so yeah i got 12 ounce two 12 ounce things of shea butter um i paid i want to say like five dollars for these let me check yeah 5.99 for each i know i can get them cheaper from somewhere else but when, I, when you add in shipping it, it, it was overall cheaper for me to do it directly through Nature's Garden. Um, it is pretty much a one-stop shop for me, and that's why I will be continuing to use it as long as they have what I need in stock. So yeah, two 12 ounces of those. I should also have a mango butter. Yep, one 12 ounce of mango butter, and this was $9.59. So these I'll be using to make some whipped butters with. That'll be 
super exciting. Um, fun facts about the wet butters, it is taking me forever because I can't find a quality hand mixer in stock. They are all out of stock. People have been stress baking and stress cooking and and it's just like, they're all out of stock. Like everything I want is out of stock. Target, Walmart, <laughs> everything's cleared out. And I'm like, why God, even Amazon? So yeah, I'm struggling with that. So this is my emulsifying wax. I'll be using this for my exfoliating, um, moisturizing sugar scrubs. This is a one, 16 ounces, so two pounds. And I paid, give me a second. I feel like I paid like $6 for this, but I feel like I'm also lying to you. So, cause it's, the way they put this is really weird. I can't figure out what's what. There we go. See, they didn't put it under wax, they put it under silky. So I paid $8 for this silky emulsifying wax. And it's a 16 ounce. I also got, what is this? Oh, <laughs> I, I forgot I got these. It's been, it's only been a week. They actually shipped it out really quick. Um, and I got it within a week. A lot of companies right now are having like an eight to 10 business day um, processing time and it is so frustrating trying to get things for my launch at the end of this month. So I got rice bran oil, 16 ounces of it. This will be, this was $3. I'll be using this in some of my body scrubs or whip soaps. Um, rice bran oil is a very inexpensive oil, but it still has really great properties for hair, skin, and nails. So I do recommend this if you want to try something that's a cheaper carrier oil. Um, because these oils can get really expensive really quick. Also, I got rice bran oil because I'm trying to stay away from nut oils right now. And so I'm, that's another thing that's delaying me. I am switching over from as much as I can over from like coconut based and nut based like almond oils. Some of my products will still have nut oils and I will specify which ones do and which ones don't on my website. Um, I got Sapphire safflower oil um i think also for my body my body whips and scrubs um I, this is a 16 ounce bottle and i paid 359 for it and then i got apricot kernel oil which i'm so excited if i could show you let me see if i can get my other one so i this is the one i got in the store and i paid i want to say about six dollars for this in the store and it is four ounces this is a 16 ounce and it is, I want to say, it was it was really cheap. Um, it's $5. So the price that I paid for this, I got four times more on naturesgarden.com. So again, I really recommend shopping there. And what else did I get? This is rose clay. I'm telling you guys, I forgot <laughs> half the stuff I got. I've been so stressed. This is rose clay for face masks. Um, this is a 16 ounce and I got, I paid $14 for this, um, with face masks. I, let's pause this unboxing video really quickly. With face masks, it is really, really hard to preserve clay. So I'm debating, I'm still going back and forth in my mind on, do I want to sell you guys a dry mask, let you guys mix at the house? or um, a wet mask pre-mix, but it, it's really hard and it won't last that long. So comment in the video, um, comment below if you have a preference, dry or wet, because right now um, I have been up all night thinking about it. <laughs> um, I got rose hip powder. And again, this is gonna go in my masks. Um, and this, you have like the healing properties of rose hips. So they're just ground up dried rose hips. Let me see how much I paid for that. I This is a four ounce bag and I paid $5. Rose products are very, very expensive. So it will be reflected in the price. Um, and you should make sure you calculate that in your price. This is the aloe vera powder, which will always, which will also go into my face masks. Um, it is, seven dollars for a four ounce so these are these for my face mask i think i also got some clay but maybe not i don't know i don't know all right so i also got a couple
couple of oils and while I'm unpacking these I will be talking about life um right now my apartment is too small <laughs> I have been out of town for two months since March because of the virus and I came back and the first day I came back I was like oh no this is way too small for me to function how am I gonna function so I was very blessed to have a great apartment company um, that lets you transfer your lease to a bigger apartment as long as you've been here more than six months, which I have. I moved here in December. And I also was very blessed to find a larger apartment. Uh, I, for about 250 more, that's double the square footage. Right now, my, my apartment is 600 square feet. It's a one bedroom, I paid 10.85. I'm in the Atlanta area. This is what it's like here. <laughs> Not as expensive when I was in LA, but it's still pricey. And I'm moving to a 1,250 square foot apartment um, that will have a larger kitchen that has a 10 foot island or um, peninsula and extra stuff. And I'll be paying 13.58. Um, I got it at a super discount because it was like, on an off month and also the virus was affecting the price usually those apartments go for about 15 to 16 so i was really 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 blessed to be able to have that apartment um and be able to secure that pricing for 18 more months i will be here i am so shocked <laughs> so yeah um i'm trying to still do a very small launch on the 26th i am so stressed <laughs> Because on the 1st of August, I will be moving. So I, I am keeping my stuff as much as, as compact as possible because I will have to repack it again. But this is exciting because I'll have a whole office space now and a dining room, which I'll be using for filling my products. And um, yeah, because right now, a lot of my products are on the floor and very low shelving systems. And it's very, very stressful. So that's that that's what we got here now these i'm excited about because they were very cheap um this is a tea tree oil and i got this is one full ounce and i got this oil for five dollars and if you go to the store you usually get about a quarter ounce for the same price if not more sometimes eight dollars for a little quarter ounce so five dollars for this is a really good price and it's nothing it's not um cut or anything it's it's 100 percent natural i got eucalyptus oil this tea tree oil will be going into my face and face sprays as well as my hair oil and so this eucalyptus oil eucalyptus lemon oil i paid 3.99 for one full ounce of this i have lemon grass oil um i paid 425 for a full ounce. These are all ounces. These these three and including this peppermint oil will be going in my hair oil. Um, if I can find it, I would show you guys it. So yeah, I have the peppermint oil right here. And I paid y'all, I make noises when I think. I'm so sorry, it's so annoying. I paid 650 for a full ounce of peppermint oil. And then this is a natural vanilla infusion, which is a natural scent. Um, that's been made with actual vanilla beans versus artificial scents. I do have a whole bunch of artificial scents here and I will talk about why I'm choosing to use those. Um, I paid $4.25 for this. I just wanted to see the difference and I also wanted to mix and match um, vanilla scents with the, what you call it? <laughs> the artificial scent. So these are a couple artificial scents. Um, I don't know if I really want to go over each what scent I got, but let me tell you why I chose to use artificial scents and then you can choose or make your own deduction on what you choose to use. Um, natural scents are really expensive. I mean, they are super expensive. For one ounce of this, it's about $4, but with the natural scents for about a half an ounce, it's like $20. And what, I'm, what I've learned is the FDA does not have any regulations regarding what does and doesn't qualify as a natural scent. And a lot of them are still lab made, but they're just recreated um, with the natural polymers of each essential oil. And then they, they take like, they extract the stuff and then they put it into one natural oil fusion. Um, I just couldn't justify 
the price and also knowing that we still don't really know if it's completely 100% natural and it's still lab created. It just didn't make sense to me. So as of now, I am not doing completely 100% natural fragrances. And essential oils are cool, but some of them do not carry well, um, especially when you're using plastic jars. They can degrade the jar. And I'm trying to get glass, but glass is sold out. So right now I will be using um, these fragrances. They were about, gosh, I'm gonna say like $2. They're all $3 each for one full ounce. So a couple of them I got like pink sugar, cucumber melon. Um, I have like rose scented ones. I have oat, oat milk scented ones and a pear scented as well as honeysuckle and vanilla champagne. So those are my essential oils oils as well as my fragrance oils and then I got one pound of whipped soap base which I'll be using for my foaming um, sugar scrubs and that was $5.49 for this pound I'm just testing it that's why I got very small quantities so yeah um, I'm back. I had to go get my hair oil so this is my hair oil Guys, this stuff is so potent. It is so strong that I am really, um, I really try not to use it with my braids because I pay a lot for my braids and they grow out so quick. So it has um, capsium, it has lemongrass, eucalyptus, it has mint in it. Um, it is a mix right now. This does contain nut oil. I'm trying to do a nut free version, but it's hard. Um, this has olive oil, almond oil, and don't call me black castor oil in it. Um, and then I infuse all of these for at least seven days. They all have one very teeny tiny piece of quartz in it because I feel that your hair is your crown and that is your crown chakra. And that will, when you, what you put on your scalp, your body absorbs. So I always put crystals and then I infuse it under the sun or moon. Um, I'm very, very spiritual. So smells yummy it has also lemongrass oil i'll be putting the eucalyptus oil and the tea tree oil in it as well and this this stuff works ridiculously fast so that will be in a very 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 small quantity um so yeah i really just appreciate all the love that you guys have been showing me um again as a small business owner right now it really is um helpful for people that are understanding of what we're going through I literally am just I'm up the wall right now I'm like it's just so hard to find stuff because people are starting their own businesses there's a shortage in product um and it's just not fun right now um as well as the riots are shutting down a lot of part of the countries it's sort of calmed down um but they're rioting somewhere else here in Atlanta because um un unjustly the other week Somebody was killed outside of a Wendy's and they burned the Wendy's down and it's just really sad. Um, I'm Afro-Latina, I identify as black and I do feel that yes, all lives matter, but we are really, really, really concerned about black lives at this point because it's clear that while we get the message that all lives matter, not everybody does. So black lives are being specifically targeted. Um, it's very sad we're losing People just in like uh, everyday life, I feel that we are, um, we get the short end of the stick. And then when it comes to our justice system, as well as people that are supposed to protect us, um, we don't get the protection that we deserve and we are all taxpayers. And I feel that as a taxpayer, um, our law enforcement should be protecting me and I shouldn't be afraid of them. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for hanging with me. My next video, if God willing, I can find um, <laughs> any guys, anything out there, any hand mixer. I will probably be doing my whipped, whipped body butters and scrubs next. Again, I'm still waiting on my packaging for my lip gloss video. Um, if I can't find good packaging for it, I might just go get some tubes off of Amazon to show you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about the stuff I bought, go ahead and comment down below and please stay safe out here. Bye.